You know, a lot of times you hear guys talk about what they would do against a grappler, you know, what they would do against a jiu-jitsu fighter or a wrestler. And I tell guys, you ain't gonna do nothing, man, unless you train in those arts also. As a stand-up fighter, man, you know, your kryptonite is the ground. So it behooves brothers and sisters, man, to really learn and study, you know, the ground fighting, man, that wrestling, man, in particular. Here in this fight, man, you're gonna see, man, even though I hit dude and catch him nice with a punch that would have probably knocked most guys out, he took this punch, man, and we ended up going to the ground. Now, the ground is a place that I train diligently on, man. I'm not I'm not foreign, you know, I'm not a stranger to the ground, man. I, I took time out and I trained there. So I want you guys to notice, man, that, you know, I did try um, submissions. You know, I did try some escapes. But this fight here was one of my losses, man, and um, I learned a valuable lesson, man. Let's go. Hands up, Red. Hands up. See, right there, I caught him flush, man. Okay, and I tell guys, man, wrestlers are the toughest fighters that you'll face, man. Here, this guy took the punch and was still able to move in and, and grab. So I had to lock in tight, man, because I tell guys, man, when someone is trying to punch you and you shoot in and grab, most of the time you're gonna it's gonna go to the ground, man. You're fine, Brad. Breathe. That's it. Shoulder pressure now, shoulder pressure under the under the head. Under the head. Under the head. Now you're gonna see me attempt to sweep here, man. But I tell guys, in the Underground Combat League, there was an open weight, man, so there was no weight classes here, man. Dude was nice and thick, nice and heavy, man, so. <laughs> you know, again, I, I learned the lesson, man. Don't be fighting in these open tournaments, man. <laughs> Let's continue. Get him off and get back to your feet. That's it, Brad, you're fine, you're breathing. Yeah, see, most guys, they go and they, Claim that they are so superior because they fighting on the streets, man. Guys on the streets are untrained, man. The real trained fighters are these guys that you find in these venues and these competitions, man. Come on, lock that arm up. There you go, lock that arm up. You're breathing fine. Weight down, Brad. Shoulder down, shoulder pressure. Now listen, listen to his coach, man, again, because his coach coaches him very well. He's going to call out all the uh, submissions that I attempted. Okay, which warned his fighter, man. It <laughs> made it kind of frustrating for me. <laughs> but, you know, this is the fight game, man. You got to love it. Lock that off. Uh, there you go. Right head out. Right Pull that head out. That's it. Now pull him away from the ring ropes. Lock that right off. Pull him away from the ring ropes. Keep touching. Yell on your feet. Keep your weight down, Brad. Now go to work. Body, body, head. Body. Right. The guys like to go body, body, head. They like to use that ground and pound, man. But we're not having none of that here. You notice in this match, not once did God land a punch, man. Not one time. Body, body, head. Free your right arm up. Free your right arm up. You watch the triangle. Right, I was going for the triangle right there, man. Okay. Tighten it up. Come on. Tighten it up. Tighten them up. Tighten them up. Round and pound, Brad. He's going for the guillotine again. Right, I was going for the guillotine, man. Okay, once one submission failed, you you attempt another submission, man. So I feel very comfortable on the ground, man. The guard position, man. Shout out to the Gracies, man. Just want you to notice, not one time was he able to land any strikes, man. Okay, so the guard defense is very, very strong here, man. Again, man, we, we do train in wrestling. We do train in grappling, man. You guys don't, we don't fear you guys, man. The greatest lesson we can learn, though, is learn how to get back to our feet from the ground, man. That's that's why I made my mistake, man. Thinking that I was a jiu-jitsu fighter, <laughs> staying on the ground. I should have been working to get back to my feet, man. Shoulder pressure, man. Thought we was gonna stand back up, but he's telling me we gotta get back down to the ground, man. Okay, on your back. Now 
Ask yourself, man, what would your seafood do <laughs> if he was in this position, man? <laughs> or how would you coach your students, man? Let's continue. See, I got the underhook, I got the knock, the neck lock, the neck lock, and I got my foot inside. Okay, I'm looking for another sweep. So we stay very active in our guard, man. Pressure and push on the elbow. Pull that head through. Now it's time for ground and pound. They're like, there's time for ground and pound. He says, man, look, <laughs> it's none of that here, man. If you notice in the video, man, I closed the gap on him, man, which, which breaks his posture and allows him to not really get any successful punches off of, man. That's one of the keys in jiu-jitsu, man. You got to keep him close. You got to stick to you, man. Can't be giving them too much space to 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 to, to free themselves and the punch. Watch your sweep, Brad. <laughs> Trying to sweep him again, man. Good shout out, man. Good coaching from this coach, man. Called off all my submission attempts, man. Thirty seconds. Come on, man. Thirty seconds, Brad. Now you're gonna look at him swing here. Now we're about now, the distance is covered. And I tell guys, this is where I made my mistake, man. You learn your greatest lessons, man, in the loss, man. Getting out there, fighting in competitions, man, you just got to love it, man. This is how you, you know, you really know if you're any good out there, man. Again, a lot of these Jeet Kune Do instructors, Wing Chun instructors, man, they haven't even never fought, let alone test themselves and put themselves out there, man. No one cares what you used to do. No one cares who taught you, what lineage you from, how many pitches you done took, man. <laughs> what matters the most is what you can do, man. Your skills, man. You know where to go, D. Take the leg lock. Up kick. And again, he went for the leg lock, man. You see? Now, you can't really see it too well, man, but he got both of my feet trapped between his legs, man. And this is what prevents me from getting out. It almost allows him to take my foot home with him, man. Get everything into it. Keep going. Hook your legs back. Come on. Hook his legs. Hook his legs. Unhook his legs. Come on. Tom, arch your back. Come on, Tom. Yeah, you don't really notice it, man, but he popped my ankle, man. I learned a lot in this fight, man. I just wanted to post this again, man, to show guys, man, to stop talking on my videos, acting like you know me. Okay, there's no fear here. It's all respect and competition, man. Shalom.